Hey guys, Nick Horowski here of Robbins Rehabilitation, and today we're going to be talking all about the squat. Uh, reason being, you guys are starting a lot of exercises now, and it's important to just get these down pat. You want to be making sure that you're doing the absolute best quality form that you can. And if you're not there to start, don't worry about it. I mean, myself, I'm still working on these things, as are all the high-level athletes, down to the moms and dads, grandparents who are just really wanting to get into any of the functional movement, uh, exercises, sports, whatever it might be. So today, like I said, we're going to be going into the squat uh, and why it's so important. That's what I want to address to start because the squat is one of those things that's really the base of a lot of other movements. So we're going to be talking about just the basic body weight squat. Nothing on your back, nothing overhead, not anything like that. We want to get the movement down to perfection first. So what it really comes down to is the squat is the base for a lot of other things, the body weight squat. Think about just doing other activities when you're out and about, when you're squatting down to pick something up, uh, sitting down, standing up from a chair, anything like that. You still want to be making sure you're putting in all of those reps perfectly, both in the gym and at home, and that's what we want to make sure that you're doing right here, right now. Now, like I said, it's a lot, this is a movement to a lot of other exercises too. So putting a load on your back, across the front of your shoulders, overhead, when you're cleaning, when you're snatching, all of these start with a basic body weight squat and is why it's so important that you really get this down first and just be able to hammer it home without any problems. Now, what are the basic mechanics of the squat? So first thing is gonna be getting a comfortable stance because everybody's gonna be a little bit different. Some people are gonna to wanna to go a little bit wider. Some people are gonna to wanna to go a little bit closer. I kind of fall right here with my stance. Now, other things that I'm looking at, once I get that stance, hey, try it out. See how that feels. Does it feel off one way or another? Again, mess around with it to see what works best for you. This one, there is no real right or wrong. It's about what feels best and allows you to move most properly. Now, once we get that stance down, there are going to be a couple things that we want to work on because if you don't set up right to start, you're going to be set up to fail a little bit, and it's going to be tough to really get that movement going all the way down and coming all the way back up. So, feet, looking, are they symmetrical? So, one thing you want to notice is, is my one foot turned out. Now I'm exaggerating in here so that you can see it, but you'll notice differences one side versus another. So if somebody's squatting like this, it's really going to cause a lot of other problems, a lot of other movement breakdown uh, as they go down. So you want to keep those feet anywhere from straight ahead up to about 15 degrees turned out. So a little bit of out towing, not a problem. Where we get into problems is when we do the duck squat, because again, that's going to lead to other movement dysfunction as well. So a little bit of out towing, Provided it's symmetrical. Again, going out a little bit, not a problem here. But ideally, straight ahead to slightly. As long as they're even side to side, we're going to be good. Now, starting off the ascent of the movement. This is something that's often misconstrued. Some people will say, we got to break from the hips first. Other people will say, you got to break from the knees. The truth is, it's not really one or another. It's you want to be going down and sinking back at the same time. So the knees and the hips start to hinge as you go down. So it's just going to be movement on down here. Now, that start of the movement, you don't want to just drop down. I mean, I feel like a little off balance as I even show that there. You want to still be able to control it. You might want to be able to control it fast as you go down. But you don't want to, again, be descending in an uncontrolled manner. So again, to start, get our comfortable stance, get our feet in relatively straight ahead, maybe out, like I said, up to about 15 degrees. And then you're going to start breaking from the knees and the hips at the same time, and now you're going to control that descent. Now, we want to make sure uh, as you go down, you don't just kind of come and hang out here. That's not good. Now you're just hanging on the joints, the ligaments, and cause some breakdown here. We still want to keep those muscles engaged, keeping everything, just trying to keep that back as straight as you can before you come back up. So that leads to another thing here, back straight. So we don't want to be rounding forward. It's very easy for me to round here but I want to stay upright, looking straight on the horizon. That's what distinguishes this from a bend pattern. Bend pattern, spine moves as one. With a squat, you actually want to look directly straight in front of you the entire time, not cranking the head up, cranking the head down. So going there, and then back stays nice and flat as you go down. So some people might not be able to get to a neutral position or below to start, and that's okay, because we're going to start addressing some of those things later on why we want to get, or how we want to get there. But ideally, you want to be able to get to 
where the hips are in line with the knees or even a little bit below, provided, again, you're doing so without compromising the position elsewhere. Still want to be able to stay engaged with this. Again, sometimes people will need a little bit of a counterbalance. That's going to let us know there are some other things going on, uh, but that's okay to start to help stretching out into this. So now that we're getting down into the squat a little bit more, what else do we want to look for? Well, we want to keep an eye on those knees. How are they tracking? Knees want to be tracking over the second toe, uh, approximately. Again, this might change a little bit depending on the person, but that's pretty much where you want to be. So you're going to want to notice either caving in of the knees on one or both sides. So if they're both caving in, that's a problem. But also if it's caving in on one side and not another, well, now we found that asymmetry. So not the same thing side to side. Another thing that we definitely want to be able to address. So as you're, dry, as you're dropping down again, it's knees are going straight ahead. And don't worry if your knees go out over the toes. For me, it doesn't happen too much. I have to compensate to do that. Um, but if that happens, that's okay. Don't worry about that right now. We want to just make sure that you can do this movement properly. And knees out over the toes, knees back a little bit. Again, there's not one right answer here, despite what you may have heard. This is just how your body is going to move. As long as you're maintaining knees straight, you're going to be okay. So let's put this all together to go into just that perfect squat. I want to keep it simple for you guys. Again, start off with your stance, finding that comfortable width. Toes, making sure that they can be straight out to 15 degrees out, but that they're symmetrical, one side versus the other. From here, breaking at both the knees and the hips at the same time as you go down. And I want to show, again, knees are going pretty much straight ahead as I go down here, getting to that chest up. I'm looking straight ahead. My back is straight as I can keep it there. And again, now I'm still staying engaged in the bottom. Now the only thing here is I reverse that. Again, knees stay straight ahead, slightly out. Feet are in the same position, and I'm just coming back up into that starting position. So I'm ready to just drop down and begin it again.